all over the world, people and critics are praising on the brilliant performance done by Hollywood actor Joaquin Phoenix for the latest Hollywood movie, Joker. He has given a different dimension to the iconic villain character of Joker by his outstanding performance. On appraising his performance, we are going to create a video on Hawkin Phoenix. So today I am going to teach you how to make the face logo of Hawkin Phoenix from his photograph using some Photoshop techniques. So before I start the tutorial, I would like to ask you, please consider subscribing my channel because a lot more helpful videos are lined up in my channel. So let's quickly jump into the tutorial. So we have this still from the movie Joker to create the face logo of uh, Joker and we also having a still of uh, actor Hawking Phoenix to create the face logo so first we are going to create the face logo of Hawking Phoenix for that first we need to unlock the background layer and we need to make some color correction before we start this uh, face logo creation so for that I am going to use uh, image adjustment uh, brightness and contrast so i will be clicking auto to automatically set the brightness and contrast okay next i will adjust the levels image adjustment levels i will select uh, increase contrast from the levels okay the next step of creating the face logo from an image is uh, removing the background. So we have done the background removal process in so many of my previous videos. So I'm quickly doing that using the quick selection tool. So done with the background removal process. Now what we need to do is we have to make a copy of this particular layer. So I'm just pressing Ctrl G and I'm hiding the upper layer. Okay, we are going to work with this. And now we need a background. So for that I am creating a new layer and bringing this down. And I am creating a gradient background which is black and white and I'll just bring this to here okay I'll just draw a radial background okay see this is the background okay now we are going to work on this layer and I'm going to use adjustment threshold this will give you a black and white monochromic image we have to adjust the threshold level so if you are bringing down here it will be like this and gradually if we are increasing we will be getting a very suitable proportion of uh, threshold so I'll be keeping it as 85 see before and after okay next up is making the clipping mask for that I am going to load an image open I uh, will be selecting this image ok just drag and drop this image to our file so just drag and drop here and what I need to do is I need to scale this image to suit this so free transform and uh, aspect ratio I will be scaling to 80 percentage I think to 50 percentage is fine okay so I just scaled it and what I need to do is I need to just rotate to 90 degree clockwise so we'll be getting like this okay okay just fit this now we have to make the clipping mask to the underneath layer so just right click here create clipping mask so we got the clipping mask here we can uh, adjust the position and all like this we got it like this and if you want to overlap another image to this we can load another image so I'm just opening another image and uh, I'll be using this just drag and drop this image just like we have done previously 
okay so i don't want uh, much more uh, brightness here so i just select the darker area from here and just do the same process create clipping mask so we got it like this so i selected soft light as the layer transparency mode for this layer and i will reduce the opacity to 60 okay so we got uh, this color so now we almost got the character logo but uh, i am going to make some more uh, definition to this logo for that i am just enabling this layer and i am applying black and white effect to this layer so adjustment black and white and uh, make the black and white auto okay now i am going to apply soft light and uh, reducing the opacity to 50 so we'll be getting like this so it was like this now this is like this the next step is to mask all this layer into a single shape to get the face logo effect but uh, before we mask this layer into a particular shape we need to combine this for that uh, i am going to make a smart object from for this layer so i'm just selecting the first layer and holding on shift i'm selecting the last layer so we got this four layer and just right click here and convert to smart object okay so these four layers combined into a single layer and anytime i can double click here and make changes into individual layer that will automatically update it here so before we mask we need to just rescale this layer so go to free transform and just uh, rescale this into 80 percentage more okay now i just uh, replaced it here now i am going to create the mask for that i need to create a shape so using the shape tool I am selecting ellipse tool and just drawing a elliptical shape so now we got this shape and next step is uh, doing the mask so I am actually not applying any mask tool instead what I'm going to do is I'm making the selection from this shape so I am just select this layer and uh, holding on control and pressing on ellipse shape we got the selection of this layer from this shape but we need the invert of this selection so just uh, go to select menu and inverse so we got inverted selection and just press delete button so now we got uh, this layer masked into this elliptical shape now deselect by pressing ctrl d now the elliptical mask is ready but i need the outline of this elliptical shape as a boundary for this logo so just enabling this and uh, just make changes to this shape layer so go to shape here and here I will just uh, disable the fill content and I will apply a black color to the outline and uh, if you want you can make changes to outline so I'll just make it as 8 so now we got it like this but i need one more outline for this logo so i'm just making the duplicate of this layer and uh, i am just scaling this ctrl t okay we got two outlines and for this outline i am just making changes uh, to the boundary style so i am just making this as dotted one and reducing the stroke thickness into five point okay now we got like this and if you want to add any title just use the text tool and just type the name of the actor here okay so I just type uh, Hawking Phoenix his name and uh, now we have these three layers 
and I want to make these three layer into a combined layer for that I am selecting these three together holding on shift and I am converting this into a smart object convert to smart object okay so now these three layers combine together and I am applying a clipping mask for this layer for that I need to bring an image so I am just bringing another image okay I am just bringing this image itself and just drag and drop it over here so this time uh, I'm not going to rescale this so just making the clipping mask so for that I'm just uh, right clicking here and create clipping mask so now we got the face logo of uh, Hawking Phoenix we have gone through so many procedures to make this uh, face logo see we just started from uh, here this was the original image and we have gone through so many procedures and finally we got uh, like this so the face logo of uh, Oking Phoenix is uh, ready next we are going to create the character logo so for that I am just uh, selecting this image so next we are going to create the character logo from this still image this is the still of uh, Hollywood movie Joker and this is our favorite actor Oking Phoenix as uh, Joker so we are going to do the same procedure with this image to make the character logo we have to go through all the procedure that we have done in uh, the previous uh, exercise so here is the final output so we just started from this layer and we have gone through this much of procedure to make the character logo of uh, Joker similarly we are going to create the character logo of uh, a Joker performed by Heath Ledger so I've done uh, the character logo of uh, Joker from his uh, movie still so this is the character logo of uh, Heath Ledger as Joker so this was uh, like this earlier and we have gone through the same procedure that we have done in the previous exercises and uh, we got it the final output like this guys I have also made a face logo for my channel and uh, I made this uh, from my portrait image so this is the image so I've gone through all the procedure that uh, I've used earlier so this is the final output of uh, my face logo okay that's all for today this was the fifth video of my artwork design series. Today we have made the face logo of Heath Ledger and Walking Phoenix. So I will come up with another topic in the next video. Till then, bye.